I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today I'm going to be checking out the vintage vocals from Big Fish Audio Funk Soul Productions. I'm a pretty big fan of what Funk Soul and the Big Fish have done teaming up for these vintage libraries. If you haven't, I uh, have already done reviews of the uh, vintage horns, vintage strings, um, and one of my big favorites, the vintage rhythm section. They've now gone out and uh, created the vintage vocals library. This library specifically designed to emulate the sounds of these great female background singers who were songed on some of the classic vintage hits of the funk, soul, R&B, rock and roll records of the 60s and 70s. Vintage Vocals downloads is just over two gigabytes. It's a sample set emulating female background vocals in the 60s and 70s. It's got three different singers that were sampled for the library, Angela, Janice, and Tiffany, including articulations for oohs, ahs, ohs, sustains, staccatos, and swells, as well as ensemble patches with unison, major, and minor chords. The library is a contact player instrument, meaning it's compatible with both the full and free version of Contact 5.7.1 or higher. It loads right into your library's tab. First look video. I'm literally just opening up the library, playing through it to share with you a little bit of what the instrument sounds like and what the experience is. Uh, looks like we've got one uh, folder, the vocal patches, with the three different singers as well as those um, ensembles, three all three girls singing together with uh, major, minor, unison, and major thirds. Also looks like we've got multis for the all articulations. Uh, let's just jump in and listen to some of the singers on their own first. Let's see what they sound like here. Looks like we've got uh, key switching at the bottom. So sustains. Staccatos, Oz, Staccato Oz, Sustain Oz, Swells, heavy on the vibrato there once you play those as stacks, but I bet when we get to the um, when we get to those ensemble patches, I bet the different singers uh, blend a little differently. kind of get a little bit of an idea just by playing around with that you know what you get um looks like we got a few different reverbs they all seem to work pretty nicely uh, you got some tape saturation. A little too much. Uh, and overall, I think it's got a nice sound. Uh, not a lot of control here. Just pretty simple. You get... You get the samples and uh, they play through. No legato here uh, until, at least from what I can see. So I'll be very interested to check out those multis to see what those do in addition. So now let's listen to Janice do the same kind of thing. It 
that uh, that uh, crescendo there has a little bit of a scoop to it, which is kind of nice. And I'm just playing some simple chords here to get an idea. It is a velocity sensitive, which gives it a little bit more um, expression. So that's Janus. Pretty nice. Let's check out uh, Timphony. Yeah, the velocity sensitivity seems nice. It really makes it um, a little bit more expressive. I think uh, they all have a nice, unique timbre. I'm a pretty big fan of uh, the, the Tiffany timbre myself. Um, and let's check out what these uh, three girls sustained unison. It looks like we've only got uh, three different articulations for these. And uh, down the key switches. Yeah, and this is exactly what I was saying. For those sustains, when I stacked up uh, Angela... The vibrato was really heavy. Um, there may be some borrowed neighbor samples uh, that are doing the same vibrato, just pitching it down on that instrument. I'm not sure. It's just my guess because it sounded very heavy once you stacked them. But here, when you got three different girls in unison, they all have a slightly different bit of vibrato to them. A little bit of pitchiness there in the uh, ah sustains. At least on that one note I chose. And, and I think that can add a little layer of authenticity, especially if you're trying to replicate the sound of this time, the 60s and 70s. Uh, a little disappointed that we don't have the shorts here. So that's the minor chords. Nice. And major. For a longer held bit, uh, bear. I can hear a little bit of looping in that. So let's move on to the three girl ensemble sustains with major thirds. Just from going from uh, just with the the little bit of velocity equaling dynamics that you have, and then also utilizing the softness of the O, um, gradually increasing in dynamics to ah, uh, you're able to. It's just a natural. Uh, a, a natural bit of dynamic um, velocity tie-in, if you if you want to use those. If I, I hope I'm making myself clear there. Basically, what I'm saying is that the different articulations, ah, uh, 
O, and U, which I just said in backwards, um, utilizing those as also um, expression uh, in the velocity, the dynamics of the playback, the volume of the playback, as well as your velocity of the key. It feels like it's able to give you a little bit more expression than if you're just having to try to work with one of them. So here's just O or O. So you get a nice sun soft, but if I played a little bit louder, I guess I do the same thing except switch up to the O ah. Uh, Okay, I hope that I hope that was clear. Uh, let's check out three girls unison all articulations. This might be the patch that I was. Yes, here we go. Now it looks like we've got our um, shorts. Our crescendos, uh, but what I'm seeing is right now, why are they so dry? Let's mute and take a listen here. It's just the selection. Um, that selected vintage studio plate was pretty a pretty subtle bit of reverb. And uh, even when I cranked it up there. All right. So now we could do, and basically we have nine singers if you do chords now. is nice that's what i was hoping for there is the ability to access all articulations for all three girls uh it is a little bit tricky though because we are now stacking up anytime we do more than one key we're playing <clears throat> multiples of three notes for um the multi let's check out true multi articulations and see what this one has to offer for us Okay, so this one's set up just with different MIDI channels, so you can load them in quickly, uh, have them all in the same channel, or I'm sorry, all on the same track, but utilize different MIDI channels to uh, manipulate them. And this one is the minor chords, all on the same MIDI channel. Kind of what I expected. I haven't listened to anything really high up here. Or really low. Oh, sultry. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm liking the tone sound. I probably would have liked to have seen a little bit more control with dynamic. You know how much I love to have some scripted velocity with the mod wheel. Um, it's just the nature of how I work at this point. Uh, I'm not sure if that's relevant to all users. The other thing I would have loved to have seen with the instrument right off the bat is um, I would have loved to have just seen a little window told me which articulation each key switch was. I know it's down here. And that's fine. I can deal with that. 
but I always prefer for it to be kind of just, you know, script it so it shows up in the instrument. That'd be really nice. Works. It could work very well for this specific style, these 60s and 70s kind of sounding backing tracks. Uh, you'll just have to be very, um, you have to really use your ears to make sure you have these as backing tracks so you don't hear any of that looping for some of the sustains, or maybe, you know, maybe even we'd get into our uh, back of contact if you're a contact master yourself and maybe play around with some of that, um, some of the uh, sustained looping to see if you could get uh, something that might work better for each individual product. Overall, this is a, a very nice little addition to the vintage vocals. Um, it's always impressive to have something that sounds like authentic vocals in your music. It just adds so much life. Listeners just are always attracted to it. So I think that this is a great addition to the line. I'm still going to say my very favorite is the vintage rhythm section. I just absolutely love the tones. And uh, I'll include a link to take you over to Sample Library Reviews, other vintage instrument reviews. The instruments all created by Foxhall Productions, Big Fish Audio. Thanks for spending a little time with me here today to have a listen to Vintage Vocals by Big Fish Audio, Foxhall Productions. I'll include a link to take you straight over to the Sample Library Review Vintage Vocals page, as well as the product page if you want to pick it up. At the time of putting this together, it was on special price 149. We'll jump up to our 199.95 in the not too distant future. Love to hear your thoughts. Please comment in the description below. Like, share, subscribe. Always feel so good when you guys give us a thumbs up. And be sure to head to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and a weekly deals page. 